In electronic circuits, resistors are often combined to create new resistance values by placing them in either parallel or series configurations. Current flows through all of the resistors in a circuit, whether series, parallel, or a combination of the two. When resistors are placed in series, current flows through each one in sequence. Calculating this is simple, as the total resistance is the sum of the individual values. As more resistors are added in series, the value will continue to increase. When resistors are placed in parallel branches within a circuit, the calculation gets a bit more complicated. Total resistance is equal to the inverse of the sum of the inverses of the resistors. For this example, using the series calculations from earlier, the total parallel resistance is 150 ohms, which is half the resistance of one resistor. In parallel resistor circuits, as more resistors are added, the value will continue to decrease and the total resistance will always be less than the parallel branch with the lowest value within the circuit. Save some time and let DigiKey's series and parallel calculator do all the work. Visit digikey.com slash psresistors to get started. Started. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!